how God sent people to hell, although we say he is loving and kind and compassionate father. Okay, let me tell you one thing that um, the Christian doctor never say that the will of God is the hell for men. That's never the will of God. The will of God simply is to save everyone, is to catch all people in his kingdom. That's why Christ came to save us. That's why Christ was crucified. So he suffered a lot in order to save every human being. So when it comes to the idea of hell, the fate of the wicked people, definitely that was never the will of God. Think it clearly, that's the will of man. Because men may choose different will, different fate. So according to their free will, they choose to stay away from God, against the will of God, against the belief in God, against the pleasure of God, because God is happy saving everyone. So the wicked people, when they stayed stubborn in their way, refusing all the voice of God, all the messages coming from God, and doing bad things all their life, and believing in themselves as gods and following their lusts and staying in darkness. So it's their choice. How can we blame God for people's choice? We may blame God if it is his choice to destroy human beings in hell. But you know, it's the defeat the of their choice. They choose to live in darkness. So the end result is darkness forever because that was their choice. So think it this way, God was never happy with the death of any wicked people, but because he is just and he is a loving father, he can never be unjust. He should be just because, you know, God is righteous and being righteous, he should be fair. So for those who hurt many people and stayed without repentance and very stony heart, how can God just take them in another place again at their will? They hated to be with God. So God, if he takes them with his side as if he is just against their choice and against their free will. So respecting the free will of man, that's the choice of man.